95% of what we think, feel, and do all comes down to your habits. So it's no surprise that the top 1% of the wealthiest, healthiest, and even happiest, they all just have completely different habits than most of us. So what is the number one habit that they all have in common? Well, I took the guesswork out for you. I studied the Mother Teresa's, the Nelson Mandela's, the Jeff Bezos's, and I found the number one habit they all have in common. And it's not what you might think. And here it is. It's sleep. And I know you must be thinking, sleep? Elon Musk gets four hours of sleep, and in our hustle culture, sleep less, but work more. Well, here's the catch with that. The number one predictor for success is zest, which is energy. And it correlates exactly to your success because energy is way more important in today's world than intellect. You might be the smartest person in the world and have the best ideas, but you can't get out of bed and execute them, then what's the point? And you know, you might say nutrition, exercise. Sid, what about meditation? Well, all these pillars sit on the pillar of sleep. If you get a bad night of sleep, tell me, do you even go to the gym that days? And if you do, how are your workouts? Can you meditate or are you sleeping like me? And if you're productive, imagine yourself getting a better night's sleep. How much more productive are you really? So yes, Elon Musk and Obama, they all might be getting five hours of sleep, but here's what people get confused. People think time in bed is the same as deep sleep. Elon Musk and Obama have completely dialed in their sleep. In those five hours, they get five hours of actual deep sleep, while the rest of us are not. So dial in that, check your sleep, check your energy. That's the number one thing I work with my clients because it's once again, the number one predictor of success. What are your sleep habits? What do they look like? And what can you do to improve them today?